Secret Satan, Chapter 16. You're an idiot, Linus Thweet. This, to be fair, was not the first time I'd been told this. No. No, I'm afraid he's right, said Ali. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, God. No, he's right. I killed Tony Flint. Oh, I believe him about that, said Edie. That's not what he's being an idiot about. I'm sure it's reasonably clever to have figured all that out, but it's genuinely idiotic to tell people about it. I'd take reasonably clever. That would do. Absolutely, said Sue. I don't mean to be mean, but everyone thinks Tony just took too much cocaine and killed himself. And why should they think any different? It's not as if anyone misses him, said Ned. I didn't like to say it, said Sue. I don't know why not, said Ned. We're all thinking it. As you less than astutely pointed out, Linus, said Edie, Ali put Tony out of our misery, and absolutely no one needs to know how. They just need to get on living in a world without Tony Flint in it, which I think we shall all manage to do. Edie, said Ali, that's not the point. I killed someone. Hold on, hold on, said Lem. We'll get to this. I thought this was a Q&A. The only question appears to be exactly how stupid I am, I said. Easy. Very, said Lem. No, I have a question, Quilty. Why on earth would Tony Flint give Radu Turkish delight of all things? Because he was an unpleasant and lazy man, I said. Lazy in that he just went for the easy, default, secret Satan gift. You all know the advice, Ali's advice, if I remember correctly. If in doubt, buy food. And unpleasant in that he deliberately picked Turkish delight because he knew that Sue, the Narnia nut, would love it and she'd have to watch somebody else eat it. Fair enough, said Lem. I'll buy that. Right, you can all get back to telling Quilty he's an idiot. Which is entirely my point, I said. I am an idiot. This is a tried and tested maxim, and yet even this idiot could figure out that Ali killed Tony, and if I can, anyone can. He's right, everyone, said Ali. I've been waiting for it all this time. It's only right. I'll hand myself in and confess everything. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, said Ned, and... Hold on, said Edie. Linus is not quite right. I'm not an idiot? Oh, no, 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 that's true said Edie, but it's not entirely true that just anyone could figure out what you have. Only two people tasted that Turkish delight, and only one of them noticed that it tasted suspiciously of illegal drugs. That one person was you, Linus, and the other person died for his inattention. Without that one little taste, no one's ever going to suspect the Turkish delight, the secret Satan, or any of us. I said that, said Sue. It's only us, our team, here in this room, that know any different. Why change that? Edie's right, said Ned. You would say that, homewrecker, said Lem. But yes, she is, and so is Sue. But I did it, said Ali. I killed Tony. I thought it would be easy. He was so awful, but it turns out killing people is bad. Who knew, I said. I can't just leave it said Ali. And I certainly can't let all of you be complicit in this. There, that, that's the point, said Lamb. Even when you're facing prison, you're thinking about us, your team. That's why this never leaves the room. The same reason that you committed the crime in the first place. The team, us. Exactly. Thank you, Lem, said Edie. You did this for us, and we can't let you pay for it too. You're the best boss I ever had, said Ned. The best boss I could want, said Sue. How could any of you work with a killer, said Ali. A killer of Tony Flint, said Edie. If you weren't already my manager, I'd be applying for a transfer right now. But I... I don't know, said Ali. I don't know if I can. It was at this point that I decided, mostly in the cause of self-preservation, to be properly evil. Ali, if you weren't here, I said, <coughs> we'd be stuck with Richard Balls. The room fell silent in terrified awe at this prospect, apart from Ali sniffing loudly. 
I actually have some slides prepared for this Q&A session. I said, uh, next slide, please. I think we've had enough of your nonsense, Linus, said Edie. Seriously, I said, I have thoughts. Next slide, please. Sue leant over and pressed the button. When I started to get suspicious about how Tony Flint died, I thought I was engaged on a righteous mission of justice. A man had been cold-bloodedly killed. I, I thought I was the kind of person who would not allow such a thing to stand. But in the course of investigating, I have discovered more about Tony Flint and more, shamefully, about myself. As this slide clearly shows, Tony Flint was an awful, awful man. He bullied people, extorted them, insulted them and immiserated them. He shot his mouth off frequently while eating. He threw his weight around, of which there was a considerable amount to throw. He sulked and rampaged and was just awful. And until I started all this, I didn't notice. I mean, he was obviously not a nice person. I kept my distance from him. But because I wasn't one of his customary targets, I didn't look any closer. And I should have. Someone should have. Well, actually, somebody did. Ali did. I'm still not convinced that killing people is a truly acceptable complaint mediation process, but it's more effective than anything HR has ever suggested. But this wasn't a decision I could make on my own. This affects all of us. And I needed to know what you all thought. And it seems you agree with me. Ali's going to have to live with this for the rest of her life. But then so are we, in a world mercifully free of Tony Flint. So what I propose is, next slide please, that I delete this presentation the Kanban board I was plotting the investigation on, and any other digital evidence, and we just pretend this meeting never happened. Oh, and we try and minimise any input from Richard Balls on hiring a replacement developer. The room stared at my final slide. You had a Kanban board for your investigation, said Edie. You are such an idiot. Ali stared at the room. Are you all sure of this? She said. Lem nodded. Sure. Sure, said Ned. And then Sue, and then Edie, and then me. Sure. Absolutely sure. Well then, she said. Delete it all, Linus. I'll stay. <laughs>